Welcome home. It's Irish Family History with curious news and notes, celebrating our sixth year of this podcast at the Irish Roots Cafe, where every day's a holiday and there's always room for one more. One of six broadcast series from the head school at irishroots.com. I'm Michael Laughlin, your host, publisher of rare Irish books and uh, information on every county in Ireland since 1978. Be sure to read our blog, complete with links to click on from this podcast and search our master index and books for free. Molly, wet the tea, Katie, bar the door, Sweeney, clear that floor and bring out the Irish dancers. It's time we get this show on the road. Oh, and it's on the road we are now. Show number 199 for the Irish Family History Podcast. And among today's topics here at the Irish Roots Cafe and Head School, the family name of the day is Leahy. The Irish Families Project is for, let's see, County Clare we'll be talking about. Number three, searching for Mortimer, Northcote, Walters, and Riley. Number four, here's a curious note, Torpy Making Hurleys. That would be sticks, you know. And uh, number five, the web page of the month is the Google Search Tips video. And number six, curious note, Irish Ghost Convention in which county in Ireland? And number seven, a one-minute podcast. Uh, I'll give some notes on my search in County Clare way back when. That should be interesting, if nothing else. So uh, all that's coming up. I'll be back in about, what, 15 seconds? Well, hey, remember, we've got seven podcast series on different topics, six different topics, I believe. And we've got, uh, well, over 100 free podcasts and uh, some pod archive podcasts and some members-only podcasts. So we do real good on that. I don't know anybody who's done as much as us. Uh, of course, that's a biased opinion. And, hey, we've got an enhanced Irish family history podcast, too, that has photos and links. All you have to do is have quick time for that, I think, or iTunes will play it, too. Uh, but notes for the week What's happening today at the Irish Roots Cafe? Well, hey, you can see all of our uh, YouTube channel videos uh, on uh, YouTube. I've got a link on the blog to, like, the master page that shows all 20 that we've got up now. And I'm starting to get my confidence back. I made a little small one of a song just to see if I remembered how to record. So that's coming along okay. And we've got... Uh, Ooh, we've got a new main Facebook page, and then we've got a new Facebook song page, which is really Irish Song is the title of it, uh, a traditional Irish song when you read it. And then, we, of course, we've got a Head School page on Facebook, too, uh, which is a group. So I'm just going to see if there's interest in, uh, in the song page or the Head School page and keep it if there is and dump it if there isn't. That's a lesson in practicality. Uh, number three, uh, iTunes Irish Roots Podcast Provider page. Yes, we have a page all of our own with all seven uh, podcast feeds, I believe, including the video podcast. And uh, got a link to that on the blog. Number four, uh, the last, or at least we should say the most recent book to have the color detailed maps from the 19th century uh, is the County Tyrone, Ireland Genealogy and Family History book. <laughs> oh here we go we're gonna listen to uh we're gonna listen to me talk a little bit here let me see uh, we, i was going to talk about the irish genealogy cd that we've got as part of our uh, our set of cds you know and uh i am course am talking about my history and experiences and what i've learned since 1978 doing all this research and talking to all of you folks and really enjoying it uh and so I was going to play an excerpt from that, but I don't really have time to dig around and find it all. So I'm just going to tell you right now, again, uh, in my own words, unrecorded, unrehearsed, uh, how I did my search in County Clare, since County Clare is the name. And I tell you, the first thing I did was I got on the phone, call, phone I looked for a uh, a b and b that had the same last name I was researching, which, of course, was O'Loughlin. And I found Jim and Monica O'Loughlin in Ennis County Clare, which worked out well. So I called ahead and say, hey, I'm coming over. Could you, can you give me a hand? Could you, if you hear anything about O'Loughlin's in the county, let me know. 
I'm sure they were smiling, but they said, sure. And I came on over there, and I even uh, said, uh, gosh, do you think you could call ahead to any of these old O'Loughlin's in a different part of the county that uh, that I might see so they knew I, wouldn't, I wasn't a, uh, a highwayman, you know? And you know what? They did. So I really enjoyed that little introduction that let me at least get to the door. And, uh, boy, I started to learn a lot of things. And, and the first thing I learned uh, when it really when I arrived was how to spell and pronounce the name. You could spell that name several different ways. You could interchange vowels like O-L-O or O-L-A, and uh, you could drop vowels too. We all know about that. I've been talking about that forever. But that was important. And then when I got stopped by a police officer, uh, and he asked who I was, and I said O'Loughlin. I mean, I said O'Loughlin, as we pronounce it here in the Midwest. He says, what was that? He couldn't make it out. And, and so I gave him my driver's license, and he says, oh, O'Loughlin, is it? And from then on, we were good friends, and uh, and he just told me to watch what I was doing, and uh, 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 everything was fine. There was nobody else on the highway. Actually, I was surprised somebody stood in the middle of the road and tried to flag me down by waving their hands when you're going 60 miles per hour. But they sure did, and that was a real experience, let me tell you. Okay, now what are we going to look for here? Uh, uh, let's move on to all oh, the Irish, the uh, County Clare, Ireland, the Irish Families Project. We can all learn a little bit from that. Uh, now, we, I, I picked three books we've got in the Irish Families Project for County Clare. And number one is The Families of County Clare, Ireland. That's our hardbound book that I uh, put together on County Clare. And it was uh, uh, one of the first books I did because my name was O'Loughlin and the O'Loughlins came from Clare. The very first uh, county series book I did uh, that was hardbound was County Kerry because my mother's people came from there. That's a logical decision. And that's where I spent most of my early days researching. And uh, of course, the families account. Declare Ireland book contains hundreds of families, not in the other books. They're not just a duplication. And uh, gosh, what are you going to find out? Let's take a look at the intro to that book. Uh, let me see here. Here you go. It says, we have early records of Viking raids from Scandinavia, which included landings at Galway Bay in the north of Clare and up the Shannon River into Limerick in the south of the county. You know, that's where a lot of those Vikings settled and fought with or against Brian Baru, depending on the year. And, uh, Hey, we talk about the geographical division that we now know as County Clare, and that was formed in the year 1565, and it was taken out of the terrier territory earlier known as Thomond. And in earlier times, that territory of Thomond was larger than Clare, of course, and it contained a lot of Limerick and Tipperary, and it ran to the borders of Kilkenny and Queens County. Now, those boundaries in those days were somewhat flexible. It depends on, I guess who was standing at the crossroads with a club or a sword or a rifle, uh, and it rose and fell with the fortunes of the families of Thoman, but T-H-O-M-A-N-D is the name, and if you're looking historically and you're researching records, you should know that because you might miss it. They didn't call it Clare back in the early days. And, of course, Clare's bordered on the Atlantic Ocean on the west and by Loch Derg and Shannon, or the Shannon River on the east and south. And it's separated from Tipperary, Limerick, and Kerry that way. And that became a part of the reason that Clare was uh, really uh, sort of a separate entity of its own. And a lot of people ended up fleeing into Clare. Uh, and it gives it a very special flavor all of its own. So they re remained independent for quite a while. And uh, you're also going to find some close ties between families of Limerick, Tipperary, and Clare. And you might, might find some border crossing, border jumping there when you're doing research. So remember that. They just don't stay fixed in that one area. And, of course, when you're on the border with another county, then uh, you never know where you're going to find them. So remember that geography and the links with the Kingdom of Thoman and County Clare. Oh, let me see. We had two more uh, County Clare books. One, the County Clare Ireland Genealogy and Family History Notes. That's our spiral-bound county research book. And that's not a gigantic compilation of history on specific families, but it's a set set up to help research any family within the borders of County Clare. And then thirdly, of course, we've got the Book of Irish Families, the master volume to the set that has hundreds of families from Clare, 
Plus, it has families from all 32 counties in uh, Ireland itself. And uh, it's the one you got to start with, really, unless you just want to do that specialized research in the one county. Uh, you know, I'll sell you any of them at all, but uh, that sure is an important one to have. And we're almost out of them. I got to raise some money to get them reprinted. Hey, and remember three things. We've got a podcast. We have a blog reader on the blog where a computer reads the blog to you. And we've got the blog itself, which can be read anytime, day or night. And just like the podcast can be listened to anytime, day or night. And coming up, who's attending and where is the Irish Ghost Convention? Nice question. Oh, but now it's, uh, I think it is, it's time to raise our eyes skywards, give thanks, and ask for help. Here are today's Magnificent Seven. Number one, welcome new member Christine Fultz of Merrick, New York. They have ancestors who escaped to New York from the famine. Number two, Jennifer Cipriani of Lexington, Massachusetts. Your County Roscommon book has shipped. Number three, David Mortimer of Christ Church, UK. Welcome as a new member searching for the Mortimer family. Uh, number four, Linda Drake of I Hyannis, <coughs> Massachusetts. Your Families of County Cork book has shipped. Number five, welcome member... Ms. Maria Northcote of New South Wales, searching for Northcote, Walters, Riley, Lysot, and Hickey. And number six, welcome new member Jean Robert Passamard of France. And number seven, Arnold E. Rolfs Rudd of Allen, Washington, your county Donegal genealogy and family history notes has shipped. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Be sure to check out our online search list at irishroots.com. And this always reminds me to say thank you to each and every member, each and every person person who gets a book or now our new CDs, because without you, we couldn't make podcasts, and uh, we always welcome sponsors. And, hey, we also have to give a, a quiet thank you to uh, Steve Jobs because he was the one responsible for Apple. And you know what? I wouldn't even have these podcasts if it wasn't for Apple and <clears throat> Apple and GarageBand. Uh, because it made it so simple the people could now do this without having a lot of technical expertise. So we sure owed him a, 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 a spot of debt there. And uh, also for those Mac computers, which really got me involved. So uh, thank you very much, Steve, and uh, bon voyage. We sure miss you. Okay, now the Irish family name of the day. Who are we picking? Well, it is Leahy. Oh, that's nice. Now, Today's family history is in honor of Frog Haven, Queensland, Australia. That's all we got. I don't think we got a name on that uh, that entry. But they say, my family has two Irish branches. My maternal uh, grandfather, Patrick Leahy, and a maternal, must be a maternal, uh, 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 well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to, I'll have to look that up. I think it got cut off there on the computer, and I didn't know where, how much more was in that entry. Uh, be sure to let me know. Now, related spellings of the name, you can put it, you can find O'Leahy in a lot of records. It can be L-E-E -E or L-E-A-H-Y, that kind of thing. Uh, it's in variant spelling groups number 1079 and 2477 from the Guide to the Various Spellings of Irish Family Names. And uh, that's on the webpage. I have a link on the blog, of course. Now, if we take a quick look on notes on the history of the name, uh, most of our records showing it early find it in County Cork in, in, in many, many instances, and it's found as a principal name in Cork City in the 1659 Irish census. Now, we call that 1659 document a census, but it does list some full names, but a lot of names are just, they tell you the barony the surname is located in. Well, and that's about all you get is that barony a location. Uh but as you'd expect, the name is centered down there in, in the south of Ireland, in the province of Munster, uh, southwest west maybe. And uh, keep your mind open for searching for the name in all those adjoining counties like we talked about before. And if we go to the uh, Irish Book of Arms and look up the family, is the Leahy family going to have a representative that actually had a coat of arms? I wonder. We'll be back in about uh, 15 seconds and tell you that. Oh, yeah, 
yes, we've got a winner. Eh, the family of Leahy in County Kerry is given in both editions of My Irish Book of Arms. And it looks, what's on there? Boy, this is sort of an old one. It was sort of blurry. You got a lion on the family crest and a lion on the family shield. And uh, surely it's a noble one, you know. Ah, and there's a motto below. Everybody says, is there a motto? Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. This one has the family motto. And uh, that's good to know, especially if you're a Leahy. Uh, hey, coming up later in this episode, how to find your ancestors the easy way. That's by using Google. Google's that search engine and, and uh, really a, a thing we browse on all the time. And uh, you can do some really neat things on how to find uh, uh, your genealogical contacts and references. Hey, and by the way, you can even use Facebook. A lot of people are using Facebook. And, ooh, and I just got a breakthrough on one of my family lines, the Kill Martins from County Clare. But we'll talk about that another day. That's really an exciting thing. It's been, what, 30, 40 years, and we hear we have a breakthrough. Somebody called and say, hey, I've got a line on this, so I'm real excited about that. It's coming up. And what what else do we know about Leahy? Well, let's take a look at uh, the free master index and type in the Leahy name. Go to that index at irishroots.com and find Leahy 39 times in our books. And it's in the Families of County Cork several times and in our Irish Genealogies book and in our Irish Book of Arms, of course, and in the Surnames of Ireland with 200 surname uh, maps by Nefsi. And in, the, oh, we find uh, Colonel Leahy and John Leahy and Mary Leahy and the Leahy White family and Leahy Coat of Arms in Families of County Kerry, Ireland and Daniel Leahy and the Irish families on the uh, California Trail, and in Missouri Irish. Boy, they're everywhere. And we, of course, also find O'Leahy in the Annals of Ireland by the Four Masters, so that's a position of honor, I would think, wouldn't you? Oh, boy. Hey, remember to use that free index we've got on the uh, webpage to search for your family name, too. Now let's get to Around the World in Irish Ways, webpage and videos of the month. We have links to all of these on the blog at irishroots.com. Uh, Leahy Wedding Day Jig. That's a video with Natalie McMaster, and it's a great jig if you're having a wedding. Number two, the World Ghost Convention song for the first time ever. That's a video on YouTube, too. Number three, Torpy Hurley's based in County Clare. That's the hurley making process. And a hur hurley is one of those sticks they use and they whack that ball around. Uh, and Torpy, of course, is the name of the fellow who's, what, second or third generation making them? And number four, the Leahy Family Genealogy Forum. That's a web page. Now, that hurley page was a, uh, a video page, so you get to see the fellow who makes those sticks. I don't know if he gives you a sample of whacking that ball or not. I bet he does. Hey, and remember, see all our video shorts on YouTube, too. I've got a link to that on the blog. Uh, we've got all our things listed, and we're getting ready. We're just now making our new series of videos, so get ready for that. And now it's curious news and notes from Ireland today. Everybody's favorite, our last segment, number one. A new list of 18th century people in the Limerick Workhouse. And that's in a book called Popper Limerick, 1774 to 1793. And they spell Popper, P-A-U-P-E-R. And it's from the Irish Manuscripts Commission. 2,747 people were admitted, and it lists their names and some of the details. And, uh, of course, the folks came not only from County Limerick, but from surrounding counties of Clare, Tipperary, Cork, uh, got the ISB in and details on the blog. It is a little expensive. It's 45 euros, so that's something. But, hey, it's a rare resource. Number two, interesting, interesting obituary on Sean O'Reeda, uh, John Reedy, born in Cork in 1931 to, parent, <clears throat> to parents from Cork and Clare. He was a traditional Irish music enthusiast, to say the least. And, hey, I found out... Uh, We've got some blood relation to him, I was being told by my Sullivan connection, so that's extra interesting for me. Number three, the World Ghost Convention is set for October 29th in Cork City, Ireland. Oh, and won't that be fun with the storytelling abilities and the imagination of the Irish? You'll come out believing in anything they put before you, I'm afraid. 
Number four, check out the uh, Clan Ryan of Australia and the website bringing all the Ryans of Australia together. Link on the blog. Number five, talk Irish. That's the easiest way I've seen to learn Irish with pictures online and you go at your own speed. And lesson number one is free, so go check it out. Got a link on the blog. Hey, the cost isn't bad either. There's a 30-day guarantee and you can get it for about $10 a month. So I now I'm, I think I'm going to recommend that. I just need to find the time to do it. I signed up four months ago and I haven't had a second. Number six, reminding you of Irish Catholic parish records on ancestry.co.uk. Uh, uh, slash Ireland. Hey, did somebody say they have 40 million records now? The problem used to be not enough records. Now it's a problem of maybe too many records, uh, but not to a true genealogist. And number seven, search tips for finding your family on the Google search engine. Uh, here we've got a video for that, and it's uh, uh, it's on familysearch.org, but there's a video link right to that video. Uh, uh, you'll be able to see it if you go to the blog and click on the link. And that's about the end of all the formal stuff I had today. Uh, and remember, coming up, well, we're not only going to have a new format, a little quicker format, I think, on uh, on our new podcast format coming up with around with episode 200 or so, maybe 201. But I'm also going to include our exclusive interview with uh, Kansas, Uni Kansas University in Lawrence and talk about their amazing collection of 25,000 uh, uh, books just in the O'Hegarty uh uh, collection that had guy was a postman from uh, from Ireland and oh look he rose to high ranks of course but he ended up sending all these books over and that's a story in itself and it covers everything and they even got six pages of genealogy you can't do you can't do better than that that's all for today folks Joseph warm up those pipes remember we have a broadcast series on Irish song and recitation on local history of the Irish in America and on 2,000 years of Irish history as well as on the counties and something special coming up on Irish language, I hope. Uh, we've got all that and more at our head school at irishroots.com. And you know, we've been known to appear, exhibit, teach, and even sing for your special events. Be sure to book in advance if it's important and write me at my American address at Irish Roots Cafe, Box 7575, Kansas City, Missouri, 64116. Leave a message by phone at 816-256-3360. Reach me on my webpage at irishroots.com. Skype me at the Irish Roots Cafe. Uh, get me on MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, and Irish Central. Members foot the bill so they get first priority, but we're open to all. And by the way... A big thank you to all of our members, and away. Yeah.